it's Eve from the future, the not very distant future, popping in just to say that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. So for those of you that don't know what Skillshare is, it's basically an online learning community with about 25,000 courses, all in different things from design to business, you name it, it's probably on there. So premium membership is just under $10 a month, so about £9 if you're from the UK, and it gives you unlimited access to all the courses, and you can work in groups to give and receive feedback on your work and also just to meet people on the same course with the same interests as you. So as it's a new year, one of my new year's resolutions that I have not mentioned earlier today because I was going to mention it now is basically to take control of my finances a bit better because I am shocking at it and when you're self-employed and YouTube counts as being self-employed, you have to like do your tax return yourself and I just... I have struggled with that for the last like three years and it's getting harder and harder to handle because it's all just coming in from different directions now and I just can't do it. So I have actually started a like freelancing how to manage your finances course because it's actually telling me what's personal expenses, what counts as business expenses, how to like put it out in a table, like all of that sort of stuff that I just do not know how to do. And it's so useful because obviously it's one of my New Year's resolutions and if you have New Year's resolutions that are similar, you can stretch yourself to be a better person with Skillshare. So Skillshare have actually hooked me up with a deal for you guys. So the first 500 people to click the link in the description will get a two month unlimited access free trial. And after that, it's literally like $10 a month. So it's a worthwhile investment. If you wanna have a new year, new you, fresh start, meet your resolutions, go click it. Okay, onto the video. Hello everybody. So it's the 2nd of January 2019, obviously the 1st of January doesn't count because like no one gets their life together on the 1st of January and if you do, well, well, go you but that's not me. So I have decided to, obviously to get my life together because I have just not done enough um, with my days over this vacation and like not in an academic sense, like fine, okay, I'm not really done that much, but more just like wasting my time on my phone and stuff. So today is gonna be the day where I get my life together. Um, please ignore this. This is me just picking up my skin. That's one of my New Year's resolutions is to stop doing that. But I thought I'd go through my New Year's resolutions with you guys, um, just so you can hold me to account a little bit and like comment like Eve, like you're not doing what you set out to do at the start of the year. Because I have a few. Obviously, I have some that I'm going to keep private, but, like, I'll tell you the vast majority of them because I'm a nice person like that. Okay, so, resolution number one is to get more work experience and just do more journalisty things because if I want to go into journalism, I need to get serious about it and start writing for the paper at uni and just doing things that are, like, journalistic-y and presenting-related because that's what I want to do. Number two is to get a high 2-1 in my prelims, which I think I should be able to do if I just revise over the last term. Not fussed about getting a first, but I would like to get at least like 65, which is mid, like a mid 2-1. Um, just because if you get a low 2-1, like, then you just have more to prove in second and third year, and I'd rather just like show that I can do it this year. Um, so yeah, high 2-1 in my prelims would be nice. Um, next one is to make more of an effort with friends. I know that sometimes I'm so busy and like I just always am doing something and hence sometimes I take ages to reply to messages and I don't meet up with friends as much as I should do. I put my work in front of that and I need to stop doing that and make more of an effort with my friends. So that is another one. Sorry, my battery died. Um, like my life. Anyway, my next aim is to learn to play the piano. So obviously I'm not going to become like a classical pianist but I just realised when I did have free time I didn't want to read because I'm sick of reading quite frankly and I was spending a lot of time just on my phone and on YouTube which I just don't see as a productive use of my time. So I bought a, like a keyboard piano and like I just want to learn basics you know just chords and slowly get better at it and just work my way through like piano books and learn a few of my favourite songs and things. I've learnt to play um, Shallow like by Lady Gaga and I've learnt to play the introduction to She's Always a Woman and then I'm just working my way through a piano book like learning all the chords like G and all of that jazz um, and learning to read music which I can do because I did violin so I, I already knew how to read music but it's a bit rusty so 
Yeah, that's my next aim. Um, the next one is just to watch what I eat, not to try and lose weight or go to the gym or anything, but just think about it because my thighs have got bigger considerably and it's not a cute look. So I am not, like when I go back to uni, I'll be walking a lot more anyway, but like just not snacking as much. And if I am going to eat, just eat something decent uh, and just try not to have as many takeaways because... I'm really bad at that. Next one um, is just to spend less time on my phone. This should be an easy one because I'm bloody sick of it and I just, I honestly am addicted to my phone and I just hate how often I use it. So I honestly just want to spend a lot less time on my phone, like just don't pick it up um, because it's just not good for my mental health and as much as I care about what my friends are doing, like I need to stop checking it all the time because it's just ridiculous. And the last one is just not to let academics take over my life. Like, that's an easy one to do. Um, well, easy in principle. Um, and just to be okay with not doing as much work as I did at GCSE and A-level. Um, because, fr quite frankly, I don't want this year to be a year where I'm, like, busting my ass academically. Um, because I want to just enjoy myself. And I still have that little voice in the back of my head being like, Oh, Eve, like, come on, like, why aren't you working? But that voice has got to go. So that is my last aim. So those are my resolutions. Obviously, I won't keep to all of them, but they're just sort of general things that I've been trying to do anyway. So hopefully this time next year, I'll be able to look back on that note on my phone and be like, oh, okay, so I managed to do this one, managed to do that one. But today's video is basically just um, get productive with me, sort my life out, sort of situation. I have a lot of work to do. Um, because I haven't done it over the last few days and I also just have like random things that I need to do like work stuff and YouTube stuff and blah blah blah. It's currently 10 to 9. I did actually get up at half past 8 which is acceptable like I'm getting there um, but I do need to get up earlier obviously because I'm gonna have to start getting up at 7 when I get back to uni so hate that from me but I'm going to start with literally just working. So I'm going to take all my stuff downstairs to the conservatory. I've got to finish my essay. Still haven't finished my essay. Poor show. Do notes, um, like read through my folder notes for one of the texts. I have a mock exam on. Lol. Um, do some critical reading for that text. And write the start of a presentation that I have to do in first week. And do a bit of vocab. Um, and that's what I want to do academically today and then I have lots of other stuff to do afterwards but we'll get there when we get there so time to go make myself a cup of tea and get started on some work. So I just did a little bit of vocab while I was having breakfast and now I'm going to finish my essay. That is the main bulk of what I need to do today. Some much awaited Jessica Portman content. You right Jess? <laughs> she does not look happy. Off the camera. No? Okay. Um, I'm not happy with it, but I've finished the essay. Um, I just need to do these, which I'm going to do tomorrow. Like, just get the uh, critics' references a bit more sort of pinned down. Um, I've now got some fruit as a snack and some Diet Coke. That's not going anywhere. I could not make that a New Year's resolution because I like Diet Coke too much. Um, so next job is, what is the next job? Read my medico notes, that's fun. Yay, can't wait. I'm just having some lunch, um, doing some admin bits whilst I'm doing lunch. So like emails, like sending things to people that need sent to, YouTube stuff essentially. So I'm doing that whilst I'm having my lunch to be doubly productive. <laughs>
So I've finished academic work. Um, I've done everything that I wanted to do apart from the presentation, but I did something else instead of that. So generally, yeah, I was quite happy. I got about six hours done, more or less, but now I've got loads of admin things to do. So first stop is finances, because it's the start of a new year, new tax returns, everything like that. I've got to do that today, basically, because I've been putting it off and it's actually not going to take that long. I just have to go through my bank statements, which is the depressing bit because it just shows how bad I am managing my money. But you know, it's fine. So that's what I'm going to do now. Next job of the day is equally soul destroyingly boring. It is to apply to Flybe and get my money back and my mom's money back for the fact that our flight was delayed by four hours when we went to Lyon in September. And I got the email in November being like, you can have your money. And have I done it? No, I haven't because I'm lazy. And I I am really, really good at getting stuff done that's like academic, but all of like the little tidbits, like all the stuff that I'm doing today, I just put off. Some of the stuff that I'm doing today, I should have done like four months ago, but I didn't, so go me. So I've just come upstairs and tried on all of the um, bits from Hollister and Gilly Hicks. I actually did a brand deal with Gilly Hicks and Hollister, but I genuinely bought this off my own back. So it, was, it literally was, oh, what was, I'll oh, ignore that by the way, I accidentally ripped my wallpaper. Um, it was 40% off. So I got like all of these pants, so pretty. Then I also got, where are they? I got this like black halter neck bralette. This bra, which actually makes my boobs look way bigger than they are, so thank you for that one. Uh, this bra, which also makes my boobs look way bigger than they are. This bralette, which also makes my boobs look way bigger than they are. We love you, Gilly Hicks, for actually making my boobs look like they exist. I got these joggers. Um, I would show you properly, but my room is such a mess, I really don't want to. Um, but yeah, they're just like this, and they have like Hollister on the logo, and very, very cute. Um, oh my god, my hair. This is not cute. This is not a cute look for me, is it really? What else did I get? Oh yeah, I also got... Dun dun dun. This kind of... I don't know what you describe this as. Like, sort of just like a loose sweatshirt sort of thing. Like, it's just really long. It's got long sleeves, open collar. Um, just to wear, like, with the joggers. And then also... This jumper, it's like cheetah print, leopard print, one of the prints, quite cropped, very casual, baggy, love it. And also this like peplum top, but it's inside out and I can't bother to show you right now. So I'm just gonna like um, put all of those in my wardrobe, not that there's space. I have so many clothes, but I literally have no clothes, if that makes sense. Like I have so many clothes, but I don't wear any of them. Um, really really annoying but i'm gonna quickly put everything back in my wardrobe and then i think it's dinner time and then all i've got to do is edit this video and do some piano practice and i've done everything for today and it's only 7 p.m go me go me <laughs> um so i'm just gonna do a bit of piano practice Smile, she's a fool with her eyes. 
that is my last thing of the day done because I've edited this video just got to put this clip in woo 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 so I've now done everything that I planned on doing now I'm going to put on a face mask because oh my life this is not cute at all like I never I feel awful when my skin's bad because that was just it was like the source of all my insecurities from the ages of 14 17 and then it kind of cleared up and now it's just getting like it's the same sort of spots that I had when I'm 14 I'm terrified it's going to carry on but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I actually think this has been quite a productive day. I'm not going to lie. I feel like I've done a lot. Learned a new song on the piano, done all my work, did all my ad mini bits. Things are going all right today. It won't be productive tomorrow, but that doesn't matter because at least I've started off the year in a nice way. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what your New Year's resolutions are. Don't forget to check out Skillshare and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye guys. Mwah.